Iranian officials say an overnight Israeli airstrike in Gaza killed four people, including two children, and injured dozens. Israel leveled two homes after warning that it was going after Hamas militants. Dozens of Palestinians, including militants and civilians, are reported dead and hundreds wounded since Israel launched its offensive against militants in Gaza last week. Israel says its aircraft targeted about 80 militant sites overnight, including underground rocket launching locations and smuggling tunnels. The offensive began last week following days of rockets launched from Gaza into Israel. Rocket fire has killed three Israeli civilians and injured dozens. The Israeli rocket defense system has intercepted hundreds of rockets. Israel has mobilized thousands of forces and vehicles with officials saying they're ready to launch a ground invasion of Gaza. President Obama is urging Israel to hold back, saying a ground invasion could lead to many casualties on both sides. John Belmont, Associated Press. Dozens more targets in Gaza have been hit by Israeli air power this Monday morning. Beginning with this sports center, the raids came on the back of over 80 overnight sorties. At least 10 more Palestinian civilians were killed in the morning attacks, bringing the total number of dead to at least 85 in the last six days, with hundreds injured. Several missiles also hit the Palestinian National Security Force compound, but the rate at which militants managed to fire missiles back into Israeli territory seemed to slacken, say eyewitnesses. Underlying the air assault is an even greater fear in the hearts of the Gaza populace. A ground attack backed by armor that could come at any time. The Israeli army has signaled this could be on the cards with this weekend's mobilization of 85,000 reservists. The death yesterday of 11 members of the same family, most of them children, has sparked outrage in many quarters and accusations of Israeli overkill. But worse may be yet to come in Gaza if the fighting doesn't stop. For the second time in two days, the media were among those targeted for bombardment. The bombing in the heart of Gaza City was captured on a number of live cameras filming the skyline. The building hit is the base for Arab and international television stations. But Israel has described it as a Hamas facility. When rescuers arrived, it was clear a whole floor of the tower block had been blown out. Anyone in that part of the building would have had little chance of survival. Hours earlier, the UN Secretary General called for an immediate ceasefire. But for now, Israel is not listening. The relentless bombing continues day and night. This Palestinian security forces compound targeted for the second time in 24 hours. We are told there were no fighters present, but a child was killed by shrapnel from the blast. Among the other places hit, a sports stadium. A stand in the sports centre seems to have been the target, but widespread damage was caused to homes near nearby. The residents, dazed and frightened, were led from the rubble. With such a sustained assault now in its sixth day, in one of the most densely populated places on earth, there really is nowhere that's safe. As Israel's bombardment continues, the country's leaders are said to be close to the time when they will decide whether to launch a ground invasion or whether to agree to a truce. There are believed to be senior leaders supporting both courses of action. The people of Gaza are left to wait and pray that the terrifying onslaught will end soon. James Bay's Al Jazeera.
hold it. Yeah. Yeah. 